Next, we have a look at Phil Roberts, who's travelled here from England. The 31-year-old weighing 126 kilos. Well, he's got 150 kilos in each hand here. Interesting to know the psychology from these athletes because one side will naturally be stronger than the other. Over 30 seconds. Can he match Gracia's time? No, he can't. Phil, second place, a grip event. Good event for you? Yeah, it's a good event. Um, long skinny fingers, good levers. So it's an ad actually an advantage to have uh, skinnier hands and the thicker hands than some of the guys have. Just talk me through the last sort of five seconds. Like mentally, what are you going through? Well, from about 15 seconds, I knew my left hand was slipping because it felt heavier on the left hand side. So I knew I just had to grip down, grip down, grip down. And eventually the muscles just give out. And it's just, there's nothing you can do. It's literally your body gives up. So 35.83 for Phil Roberts. Daniel Gracia competing next alongside Phil Roberts. They finished fifth and sixth respectively in the first event, taking eight and seven points. Seven, the target for both of these. Gracia to the right, Roberts on the left. Two repetitions each, with 20 seconds gone. Three each now. No separating them at the moment as they both prepare to push for four. He said it's unlikely they're going to match the seven. Set by Ratajkowski and Smoke Stelis before them. Maybe time for one more to hit five and take joint second place. Well, there is five for Roberts. Gracia fast running out of time. But there it is. He's done enough. Plenty of strong men getting five repetitions so far. And these two the latest. Both the English boys, five repetition. Is there something in the water in England? Is that the standard? Yeah, I think it's pretty good for Champions League, um, Phil. <laughs> well, we're one second apart from each other in the uh, the hold, so we may as well hold each other's hands in the log. <laughs> How aware of you are each other? Are you counting each other's revs, like, subconsciously at all? No, I'm literally like, uh, like a racehorse, you know, with blinkers on, so I don't see what he's doing. He probably doesn't see what I'm doing. You, you, you're very loosely aware of what's going around you, but all you're thinking about is get that rep up. Well, Phil Roberts with five repetitions there. And despite being like a racehorse, it was just five reps for Gracia. Couldn't quite gallop. Phil Roberts up next. The Englishman, the latest here to tackle the third event, the forward hold. Roberts with a good position. Just two points off the lead at the moment in fifth. Sukman, Gracia, Radzikovsky and Smoke Stelis all above him. And really tight at the top of the leaderboard. And he manages just under 35 seconds there. Well, Phil, it's your first time in Romania. You look like you're having a great time. Yeah, absolutely love the sport. I mean, that's why we all do it. Um, you, do, you, you do the best sport in the world and you get to see the world with it. So what is better than that? Second place at the minute in this event. Are you happy with that? It's a consistent number, yeah. I can't, well, I can't complain. Um, I wouldn't have been able to catch first. Uh, 41 seconds, I think, is first, so I wouldn't... <laughs> I just haven't got the stamina for that, so well done to him. Happy with second. He's happy with second. He should be as well. 34.75 for Phil Rock, 74.7 for Team 3. The final contest, Team 5. And they take on Team 6, Daniel Evans and Eric Kalaskondi. For the final time today, the farmers walk. Nugget doing well as they switch over there. Roberts on the left of your picture now. It's Kalashondi carrying the weights for Team Six.
Nigga doing well. They're ahead at the moment, Team 5 at the top in the yellow. And a slip before the line there. We haven't seen that yet in this event from Evans, and we switch over right at the end. Team 5 well ahead. They're going to get the better distance here as we head towards the minute mark. Akos Neuge going for maybe the final time. A good 20 metres ahead here. Five seconds to go here in the Farmer's Walk. Uh, another crucial event in Strongman Champions League. And the whistle goes to call time on this one. And hugs all round there for Roberts and Nogget. They've won this one against Evans and Karashondi. Team number five. Phil, this wasn't great for you in Serbia. Much, much better it looked today. Yes, I now officially love Nagy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was great. Hell zone, had a knee problem at the end, but we managed to get second place. That's some great points. So you're happy with that performance today? Yes. And Aggie, you are on the list now for the elimination. You've just got a second. Do you think that that is going to be enough to not eliminate you? I don't know. I never think about the points. I always try to do my best and, and make a maximum. That's it. Well, good luck in the last event. It is the Atlas Stones are going to count up the points and hopefully he makes the top ten. Well, they managed 80 metres there, Team 5. A really good result to put them into second place. Well, it was 61.5 for Team 6 as they finished. The last time we'll see Phil Roberts this weekend. Some pretty motivational music in the background as well. Roberts gets his first one up there. Now he goes for the 130 kilo stone. It must be good if he wants to try and take the title here. All the way, all the way. Because Roberts started in second place, just a point behind Ivo Smoke Stellis. It's got to be good, but. The second's really ticking on now, and he's still got one more stone to go. His title hopes fading fast. Well over a minute now. The slowest time we've seen so far for all five stones. He goes to celebrate, but is it enough? Phil, you were in second, but only by one point. Ivers is still to come. This could be your title. How are you feeling? That says it all, that says it all. Fingers crossed. Did you enjoy the Atlas Stones just then? No. <laughs> it was very painful and it was hurt. So, no, I love it. I love everything about Strongman. It's not one of my best events, but you know what? That's just feedback. Next time I'll come back, I'll be even faster. Right, well, let's watch with anticipation then. Let's see if he can do it. Well, all he can do is hope now, Phil Roberts, because he did all five stones in 66.62.